welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. Thank you for joining me right here at the English Makes No Sense YouTube channel. It is I, SL Rockfish, your happy host. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to do a little reading with Rockfish and a little English lesson combined. It's a grammar lesson, as it were, because we're going to be reading a book that has a prefix, and the prefix is UN. And when we put the word, the letters UN in front of a word, we make the word a not word. Uh huh. Let me show you. But first, let me tell you if you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Or if you'd like to have us make a suggestion for something that you want to have some clarification on for English or for a book that you'd like to be read, leave me a comment down below. Positive suggestions or, you know, little critiques. I like those too. Also, if you'd like to see shorter versions of English lessons, I'm on TikTok at English Makes No Sense, Instagram at English Makes No Sense, and Facebook at English Makes No Sense. Let's begin. Today, we're going to read a book, and it has the prefix un in it, un stinky. Now, why did I choose a kid's book? Some people are like, you're reading kid's books on this channel. Yeah, because reading is fun for everyone. And books from the library are even more fun. And this book, if you're learning English, I'm going to read it and you're going to, I'm going to hold up the pictures because there's so much vocabulary in here that I think you will enjoy it. And if you're a kid at home, you're going to enjoy it because the word stinky is just fun. If you're an adult and you have a sense of humor or a love of language, this book is for you. So let's begin. Like I said, we're going to do the prefix un. Un, when you put it in front of a word, this is stinky. P-U, stinky, smells. But if it's unstinky, it does not smell. Now, see how I did that up there? Ba -ba. We have unhappy, not happy. Unbelievable, not believable. Unworthy, not worthy. Unforgettable, ooh, there's a little clear. But trust me. Unforgettable means you cannot forget it. So, un is word, but a word, a prefix put in front of a word to make the word mean not. Okay? We don't always use un. We don't say, um, you know, some words, we if we say not, we go like disbelief. I'm in disbelief, not in unbelief. So, these are the words un, and we'll get into other prefixes in later episodes. But un means not, and you put it at the front of the word. It's called a prefix. Whew. Grammar lesson out of the way. Let's begin. Unstinky by Andy Rash. I have a stink bug in my house every once in a while. I know, but my whole neighborhood does. So we have stink bugs. Google them. You'll find out. They, they look prehistoric. Okay, so here we go. Stink Bugs, Unstinky by Andy Rash. Title page, Scholastic Book, Great Pictures. If you're a kid at home looking for something to draw, these characters are awesome. Bud was a happy stink bug most of the time. Love the word most. Make it big so you emphasize it. But not when there was a stinking contest. Because Bud always had to compete with the biggest stinkers ever. Now, check out these names. Are you Bottoms? Lord Stinkington? And the Fumagata. The Fumagata. That's my best Arnold I can do. I'm sorry. And every time Bud tried to stink, something went wrong. Check out all these, these stink bugs. They can make a smokestack. See the vocabulary? Dead fish. Dog do. Flowers. Poor Bud. He always made good smells. Again, when they put that big capital, you put an emphasis. Good smells. Like... Okay, here comes the other stink bugs. Outhouse, gym sock, sour milk, bud, pine tree. 
Take a look at that for just a minute. See? Practice the vocabulary. A pine tree. That's not a stink bug. That's an air freshener. Bug spray. Rotten eggs. Ew. Armpit. Bud. New car. I love the smell of a new car. I hate the smell of an armpit. Rotten eggs? No way. Another big stinking failure. But Bud had an idea. Here comes more vocabulary. Onions. Manure. Big word for poop. A skunk. He's going to rub up against the skunk. Smart, bud. What could go wrong? Once bud was sure he totally reeked, he announced his own stinking contest. Here's the word reeked. See it? That's a synonym for smelly. Ooh, you reek. You smell. So he was sure he reeked. Stinking contest, but as all the stink bugs lined up, whoa, oh, what's going to happen? Look how happy he is. Here comes the smelly guys. A big dewdrop fell. Splash. That's a fun word, too. It's an onomatopoeia. Splash. Poor bud took a bath or a shower. Garbage truck. Limburger cheese, burning wig, ew. Bud, fresh baked bread. <gasps> That's the best smell. Fourth place again, Bud wandered off to mope. Mope is a great verb. It means to be sad. Don't mope around. You ever tell your kids that? Don't mope around. Bud is going to mope. And he ran into Major Funk, a stink bug with high rank. What's wrong, bud? Major Funk, Funk yelled. I can't stink, sir. I don't know how, said bud. Nonsense, yelled Major Funk. Every stink bug can stink. Just do what I do. Stomp your feet. Great words. Stomp your feet. Wave your arms. Waggle your bottoms. Waggle. Gunpowder. Candy cane. Major came up with gunpowder. Bud came up with a candy cane. Major Funk sniffed the air. Hmm, well, keep working on it, Bud. You're sure to stink someday. Well, that's a nice bit of help. Hey, you're sure to stink someday. Way to prop him up, Major. Bud did keep working on it. All day he stomped and waved and waggled and jumped and slid and twirled. That's a lot of words right there. You do that again. Bud did keep working on it. All day he stomped and waved and waggled. He jumped and slid and twirled. Rose Daisy, gardenia, tulip, violet, poppy, daffodil, petunia, nothing. He flopped and reached and twitched, but every smell that came out of him was flowers, flowers, flowers. A confused bee arrived. Hi, I'm April. Sorry to interrupt your dancing. I thought I smelled flowers. That flower smell is me, he said, but I'm trying to stink, but I'm no good at it. Maybe stinking just isn't your thing, said April. Well, she's smart. But you sure can dance. Will you come with me to a dance party at the Hive? A dance party? Do you think will they'll even let me in? I'm a stinking, I'm a stink bug, said Bud. Don't be silly. They'll be happy to see you, said April. You want to draw a picture? Those two are adorable. 
Look at the bees up at the hive. The bouncers at the club. The hive. The bees were not happy to see Bud, but the guards let him in because he was April's guest. And April was a V-I-B. A very important bee. We call that an abbreviation or an acronym. Bud's entrance created a lot of buzz. buzz, buzz, buzz. Notice that play on words? Uh, who let a stink bug in here, said one bee. He'll stink up the whole hive, said another. <laughs> if they only knew. April, I'm going to leave. Nobody wants me here. We'll show them, bud, on the dance floor. Bud and April danced and danced and danced and danced. Boop, 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 boop. They danced. And then bloom. Hmm, hummed all of the bees. Her Royal Majesty the Queen Bee arrived. Bud, this Bud the stink bug, you have graced this hive with your dancing and aroma. You are always a welcome guest. She's a kind of cool looking bee. Hooray, said all the bees. Bud found his peeps, his tribe as it were. Bud went back and told his friends about dancing. They had never heard of it. They gave it a shot, but it clearly wasn't their thing. Falling down, ah, or oh, eek, ah. But what did it do for them? Volcano smell. Cheese factory, dinosaur do, do again for poop. Although the exercise improved their stinking quite a bit, they thanked Bud as he said goodbye. Bud doesn't have to be a stink bug. It can be an unstinky bug. And Bud went back to doing his thing. We all have our thing, so. I hope you like the story. Remember, here's the grammar lesson. Un means not. So not stinky. Unhappy, unbelievable, unworthy, unforgettable. Unbelievable, what you can do with a kid's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Remember, be who you want to be because Bud was. Be true to yourself. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Peace, friends. Leave suggestions or comments if you want to see something else.